Hello! Did you know that we actually own our own coffee farm in Colombia? The name is Finca El Suelo and that means the soil farm. Uh, and that's because we are farming microbes and taking care of the soil before we think of the coffee trees. We bought the farm in 2015 and it used to be part of Finca Tamana, uh, which we also buy coffee from. But uh, we bought a little corner of the farm, which is now our own farm and where we planted our own coffee in 2015. So the reason why I bought a coffee farm in Colombia uh, is because uh, initially I just wanted to test some different things. For instance, uh, taking off some fruit of the trees to see if we could maximize the flavor in the coffee with the uh, fruit that was left on the tree. But as I kind of uh, learned more about coffee farming, I realized that that was not maybe uh, the best thing to do. And then I was uh, steered into soil biology and Dr. Elaine Ingham. So Today the project is all about proving that we can grow more and higher quality coffee by only using bio biological growing techniques. So that means adding compost, no pesticides, no fertilizer or mineral, mineral fertilizer. So working with nature the way nature is supposed to work. So since we started working on the farm uh, in 2015, I've been actually traveling to Colombia four to five times a year and spending almost three months a year uh, in Colombia. Obviously during the pandemic I haven't been able to go, but the journey has been uh, crazy and I have to say I have learned so much about coffee farming and, and also uh, by living on a farm I, I can see the kind of day-to-day -day, uh, actions that's going on on the farm. But uh, I've, the hardest part has been to learn that growing coffee is actually really, really difficult, especially if you want to do it without chemicals and mineral fertilizers. So the biggest challenge of uh, growing coffee biologically is to get the soil life back, you know. Uh, we're trying to get as many microbes as possible into the soil again. And that's been really, really difficult because we started with quite depleted soils. And in tropical climates you have long periods of drought, uh, you have heavy rains. So this makes it uh, quite challenging. And also because I'm not living in Colombia and on the farm every day, uh, long distance farming has been a challenge to train people to do the stuff that I need to get done in Colombia. One of the highlights though was uh, last year I was able to pick the first harvest that was actually a good amount of coffee. Uh, so that was by far the, the best uh, highlight to see that the coffee trees are actually producing some coffee cherries. So at Finca El Suelo we grow coffee by biological farming techniques and by that I mean that we only use uh, biology, soil biology, in order to grow the plants that we're uh, farming. So it means uh, we're making biologically rich compost. It's rich in bacteria and fun fungus that are beneficial to the plants. We're trying to get those back into the soil because they are the ones who cycle the nutrients in the soil to give it to the trees so they can take up the nutrients and grow you know, faster, stronger than ever. So. With this approach you can't really use any fungicides or pesticides or anything because it's all about trying to make things live in the soil and not to kill anything. So you have to work with nature and not against nature. So what you can expect from the Finca El Suelo coffees are a couple of different things. We have two different coffees at the moment. One is an Ethiopian variety that uh, tastes a little bit like an Ethiopian coffee. Quite citric, floral, some stone fruits. And then the other one is a coffee called Comun. We don't have a lot of this but uh, it's a traditional variety in Colombia and it has a lot of red fruit flavor. It's a little bit whiny like red wine and a little bit more big bodied than the Ethiopian variety. So for our first harvest we are actually going to sell two different tasting packs. One has only two coffees inside and it's a coffee from Finca Tamana, the Variedad Colombia, so we have a reference. And then you will get a package of uh, mm -hmm. the Ethiopian variety from Finca El Suelo so that you can compare to the Finca Tamana. In the more exclusive uh, tasting pack, we have three coffees, and that's uh, one coffee from Finca Tamala, the Variedad Colombia, and then you will get the Comun, which is the more fruity, winey coffee from our variety museum. Obviously, don't, we don't have a lot of that. And then uh, the third coffee is the Ethiopian variety. So then you will have three different coffees to compare. If you want to follow the project, then visit our Instagram account, Finca El Suelo, or you can go to our website and check out all the information we have there. Thank you.